Hi, welcome to this unboxing for Magnate The First City, a game by James Nylon uh, and Nylon Games that is uh, intended for 1 to 5 players, plays around 60 to 120 minutes, ages 10 and up, and the weight is 3.3 out of 5. This is a game that falls under the category of city building games with economic elements. The main mechanisms of the game are action points, action bidding, among other, as well as uh, push your luck, modular board, dice rolling, simulation, tile placement, which is a major mechanic of the game, and uh, stock holding. A very, very interesting game that comes in a huge box, as you can see. Uh, really excited that offers uh, gameplay all the way up to five players. It's uh, really heavy and packed with lots of goodness. So let's dive right into the box and see what we find inside. Even from the cover of the box, you get a very good idea on what the game is about. It's about city building, so we really like city building games here, so very much looking forward to try this one. So, it's a big box with a matte hardboard, hard uh, cardboard box, and uh, let's see what we find inside. <coughs> so, first of all, I should mention that we have the rulebook. The rulebook do indicates that I do not open this rulebook yet and it uh, redirects the players to start uh, using the tutorial deck so they can uh, get a good understanding of the basics of the game. But uh, for unboxing purposes, I'm just going to show you what the components of the rulebook. So you find the contents, various plastic buildings, houses, apartments, industrial parks, industrial units, shopping, retail units, and superior office blocks and small office buildings. So offices, blue, Shopping mall and retail units in red, yellow is for industrial and green is for uh, housing. Lots of different car tokens, neighborhood tiles, uh, various cards and boards and dice and uh, money and banknotes and card decks, lots of stuff, so lots of uh, things here. So here's how you set up the game for the tutorial. It's a very thorough and detailed uh, explanatory process. Uh, you get the city ready, you prepare the property market, which is a separate section here, and then you get the players ready with their player setup. So this is uh, the regular setup, respectively with uh, city, property market and players, uh, but it's nice that they have set it differently for the tutorial, so it can be more accessible, I should say. The game overview, the game structure, uh, a game is divided in series, which continue until the market crashes uh, and the game ends. Each run has the bid for turn order, they attract tenants and collect rent, player actions, they take three actions, property market, and prepare for the next round. Each phase is uh, explained in detail, with examples and schematics as well, visualizing uh, what's happening. Uh, you have advertising, you have the neighbors and bonuses penalties, you have the building bonuses, the collecting rent. And here are the phase action, the player actions. You can buy land, you can build, rebuild, you can advertise, consult and sell. Phase 4 is a property market. Phase 5, prepare for next round. The end of the game and there is also some advanced rules. And an AI mode which is really really welcome for a solo mode. The components of the game and an FAQ. Scoring aid for plot sales. Really really nice this uh, rulebook, very well done. I'm impressed with what they have done here. So uh, let's dive into the box. We have lots of things here and we have very nice insert and tray so that you can put things together. So always happy with options and they are uh, you can keep them separate so this is always nice and then we have uh, the plastic buildings of the game so let's take this out and let's start unpacking so first of all we have the neighborhood tiles and the footprints so we start with the neighborhood tiles this essentially create, uh, uh, I should say, an area for developing the city. Looks nice. Lots of different areas and plots for players to build their houses, offices 
etc. Okay, that's nice. And of course, by setting all these together, you set up the map. Then you have the. I think these are uh, player screens, if I'm not mistaken. No, I should say uh, wallets of the different companies. Yeah, yeah. Really nice, matte, and uh, really quite durable. Good stuff. Okay. Then we have uh, the boards of the game. And I should mention here that uh, the boards are a separate one for the uh, solo mode and uh, two double-sided property market boards for two, three, four, and five players. So this is the AI board, good. And these are the boards for uh, the property market, depending on the number of players. Very, very nice. And I like the fact that it's scaled based on player count because not many games do that. Then we have some punch boards for the tokens of the game. Uh, lots of different tokens. Uh, we have various things among them. We have tenant tokens, home tenant tokens, office tenant tokens, company markers, for sale markers, and lots of different things. So everything seems to come out of the punch board pretty nice. That's thick cardboard. Good stuff. Okay. These are advertising tokens, the ones with uh, the megaphone and the dual sided from the back they show a dice a die yeah so it's the same die icon then we have those tokens here the for sale tokens which has uh, includes two spare and these are numbered I should say number and letter making them Okay, good tokens, good, good quality cardboard as well. Let's keep those separate and let's unpunch the rest. These uh, pinpoint specific locations in the neighborhood, as you can see. Very much looking forward to getting into this game. It has city building elements, it has city construction, it has uh, lots of different cool things. Then we have uh, some tokens for the companies. These are all company markers, 12 per company. So each company has 12 tokens. Okay. They do look, uh, look like uh, contractor uh, logos or building companies, I should say. Okay. The dual sided, which is nice, meaning printed on both sides. PT, this stands for development, I should uh, guess. Okay. <coughs> Everything comes out with the punch board with no problem of tearing or any uh, issues, which is uh, always welcomed. Actually, it should be the standard, but you don't see it every time. Anyway. Then uh, we have some additional uh, tokens with uh, different students or professional couple or convenience store or restaurants or boutique or tech companies families small factories etc okay so these are tokens that they will go on the buildings if i'm not mistaken 
Uh, but let's say, uh, speaking a bit of buildings, let's see what we have here. First of all, we have the dice of the game. Nice. Standard, but good quality. Dice. Okay. And then we have the buildings. And the buildings are really nice because, as you can see, Uh, they have a space for, uh, I think, no, out here, no, 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 here it goes, I think the company goes here, if I'm not mistaken. Is it? I don't remember. I need to refresh my, I, I read the rule book some time back, I need to read it again. And anyway, it takes uh, some cardboard here, and they're quite nice because, as you can see, whilst, while you build them on the, on the neighborhood plots, you really make the uh, neighborhood come out, it pops out, because it gives a very, very good 3D feel. And it's really, really nice because it makes the city alive, rather than being flat with uh, cardboard, etc. And you can imagine that this is going to be a large neighborhood spanning on different uh, numerous uh, tiles. Then we have these tokens. I believe these are some uh, superior office blocks, yeah, like skyscrapers or something. Yeah. Then we have the shopping malls. Very nice, of course they affect the market. And the economics of the game. These are offices, small office buildings. And here is the last shopping center. Uh, this is a token that uh, stands for the crash marker, which uh, monitors uh, the progress of the game. <laughs> Very nice. And then the last thing I want to show you is the first play marker, which is a really nice bulldozer. Yeah, I will be playing a lot with this while I'm waiting for my turn, for sure. <laughs> Very cool, first player token, well done. Okay, so, um, beyond this we have lots of different cards. <coughs> first of all we have the money of the game, it comes into banknotes. Uh, okay, I really don't like paper money, but I guess for this game it makes sense, because you can pass them around and cash them and uh, count them and uh, uh, it fits the theme, so I should say it's okay. Uh, in any case, it's not paper, it's a uh, plastic paper, it's a bit of... Um, still, it's, uh, it's not uh, extra thick, but it, it's not uh, plain paper, it has some kind of uh, film. So these are the paper money. You can always use uh, poker chips if you have from other games, like uh, brass or something. Okay. Then we have uh, 500k, the bank of magnate. I'd be curious to see who is this lady. I'm sure there's a story behind it. Good. And then uh, 200k. Maybe. Oh yeah, there's this one too. And 100k. Okay, cool. So these are the paper money of the game. Then we have the um, yeah. These are the building footprints, different designs. Okay, this is a uh, cardboard. Yeah, you can see these are for the different buildings. Uh, the commercial, the offices, and the industry. Plots. Yeah, cool. And this is cardboard. And they all go in the respective slot, as you can see. 
offices, small and uh, luxurious big offices, okay? Superior, what they call. And lastly, have the apartment and the houses. Apartment buildings and houses. These are, again, all of those are in total 62 building footprints uh, that they go on the building areas. Okay, and it all comes into this nice holder which you can take apart and put it next to you for playing purposes. Very, very well done. We have buggies. We have some cards. And these are linen finish cards. Oh, they look good. In terms of quality, let's see. Yep, these are linen finish, great quality cardstock. The AI deck. These are the AI actions. So very much uh, looking forward to also check the AI because um, I'm always uh, a sucker for Thomas rather than a high score. So this looks like an interesting solo mode. Again, top notch quality, linen finish, great stuff. Well done. <coughs> Next is the 1919 19 risk cards, which are these here. Let me try to open them. Okay. These are the risk cards. Okay. Again, linear finish, great quality card stock, really good quality card stock, I should say, not just great. And then we have the uh, the main deck of the game, which is the 36 new tenant cards. These are the new tenant, tenant, tenants. And the new tenants are quite a few, as you can see. I'm sure this adds a lot of replayability to the game. Now in here, you can put also different things uh, after you punch them out. And um, the last thing that I should show you is a tutorial deck. And I'm really looking forward to try the tutorial deck. Typically, I don't go for tutorials. I dive right into the main game because, uh, okay, I've played lots of different games and that's fine for me. But uh, uh, I would be very curious to see how this tutorial uh, deck works. Because... Uh, looks very very interesting it looks like a lot of work has been done uh, behind it so it says instead of reading the rule book you pick up the tutorial deck and you start playing it so how this tutorial works and then it's essentially it's like a, a tutorial rule book written on cards and that makes it really really nice great very much looking forward to see how this works as well and um, again this is placed here so it has its own uh, slot so, here is off screen, so there you go. Great looking game, very much looking forward to try this one out. Uh, I'm very, very excited, and this is Magnate, the first city. Many thanks for watching, we'll come back with uh, some additional material for the game stream.